Let's solve this equation for x. So remember your steps. Are there any fractions? The answer is no. Are there any parentheses? The answer is no. So let's use the addition property of equality and let's make it so we have variable terms on one side of the equation and constants on the other side. To do that, I'll begin by subtracting 5x from both sides. So here's the left side of my equation. I'll leave a little space. Here's the right side of my equation. And now I'll subtract 5x from both sides. So I'll subtract 5x on the left side. I must do that to both sides. Now watch what happens. 8x minus 5x, that's 3x plus 14 is equal to 5x minus 5x is 0x or 0 like I wanted and I have 44. So I've got my variable term over here. Let's get constants on the right side. I'll subtract 14 from both sides. So here's the left side. Here's the right side. Now I'll subtract 14 on the left side and I must do the exact same thing on the right side. And notice what happens. The left side, I have simply 3x. The right side, 44 minus 14, that is 30. And now what do I do to solve for x or get x by itself with an understood coefficient of 1? I will divide both sides by the coefficient of x. So I'll divide the left side by the coefficient of x, the right side by the coefficient of x, and I'll have x is equal to 10. I'll let you check, replace x with 10 here and here in the original equation and make sure that a true statement results.